So what, a, what about a future specification? And, you know, I've talked to you about what we actually have now and what's shipping. Uh, if I wanted to go and, and recreate or, or build on a new specification, well, we still have the, the, the five, the DSI fits in as a protocol, and then there's a command set, the DCS on top of that, and then above that is the device uh, uh, identifier block or device uh, descriptor. And those report in. So if I wanted to build a new one, I might define a new link, but I leverage a lot of the work ongoing. You heard from uh, Ken Drotter about uh, M5. Uh, there's also a Uniport protocol and software stack. Uh, we want to take this link and do some new things with it. We want to carry audio and video, not just video. We want to and, and the ancillary metadata that might now go to external displays. We want to look at reaching 10 gigabit and higher to support the new uh, display content coming. And we want to, of course, have full resolution 3D uh, at multiple display sizes and look at the appropriate frame uh, formats. So we're paying attention to, to what other organizations such as HDMI and uh, CEA and other people like that are doing. So we'd go and create that by getting rid of the old and starting with M5 naturally, a uh, very high, high speed bus, and build on top of that the uh, Unipro layer. And that's all um, work I'm going at, uh, at MIPI. The, the definition of a, of a DSI-2, a display serial interface, really is the audio video formatting and then an adaptation layer to plug into Unipro. Put on top of that the command set, the uh, device uh, descriptor block, and we have essentially a functional interface that will convey uh, the information and meet all the all the objectives that we've already outlined. And the the work for my group is just that little orange portion. It's, it's much easier, I think, than, than what we've looked at before. So that'll take us to uh, the roadmap where we've started. We've, again, in summary, we've had uh, display parallel interfaces, the DBI, DPI, since 2004. That was rev to, to what is now recommended in 2006. And in 2006, also worked on the display serial interface. Both of the, the serial interfaces and the command set have been updated recently, just to fix them there and add some extra capability. But you notice DCS plugs in, again, both to the serial and the parallel. So it, it's multitask, multi-useful. Um, since that time, OEMs and vendors alike need to figure out if these uh, devices are operating. So we've been very, we've been very uh, active in promoting and moving forward with interrupt testing. So it's, yeah, I'm happy to report that DSI has now had already two interrupt sessions. Uh, the first one in May, the second one uh, just last February, and we're already planning a third one uh, in November 2010 that will likely be on this side of the country, uh, out here in the West Coast. So it's an excellent opportunity to get involved and look forward to uh, getting more display interrupt uh, devices uh, going. And it's, uh, it's a great way to make sure the product is checked out, you know, in a confidential way, but also in an engineer-to-engineer -engineer format. And then, uh, once you get all that done, you start working on 3D displays, uh, you leverage the DSi-2, and you work with uh, maybe what, what is the next best TV interface? That's, that's always a popular question. Um, I go back to my work group and, and say to our OEMs, well, who wants a new connector? No one raises their hand. So uh, that's something very common. And now we have to figure out how to get yet another high-speed video interface uh, plugged into the phone that's already getting uh, very crowded. So it's an exciting time to be part of, uh, part of this organization. Uh, to wrap up our work group, I'm, I'm still chairing the, uh, the work group. We have a specification editor, Rob Johnson, who's a very busy guy. Uh, we have uh, quarterly meetings. We meet on the phone uh, usually uh, every other week and enjoy having participation from almost every MIPI company. Uh, some of the key contributors are down at the bottom, uh, but we're very help, uh, fortunate to have contributions from all aspects, both the uh, silicon vendors that are making the state of the SOCs, uh, the peripherals, the display panel makers, and then uh, and also the OEMs. So that's uh, that's our story. Thank you.